in Isaiah chapters 7 through 9, we have a series of children presented. Now, the, the historic issue there is that the two northern neighbors of Judah, the northern kingdom, Israel, and beyond that, Syria, with its capital of Damascus, they have attacked Judah because behind them is the great Assyrian Empire pushing on them. They want Judah to join them and form some sort of a coalition against Assyria. The king of Judah, Ahaz, is afraid to do that. And so he sends a king's ransom to Assyria, asking for Assyria's help. So this is the problem. Here is this great monster Assyria, and then the two somewhat smaller monsters, <laughs> Israel and Syria, all of them threatening Ahaz. So what are these children doing in here? There's Shear Yashub, who is Isaiah's son, who is whose name means only a remnant will return. Then there is Emmanuel. Emmanuel. And the verse that announces his coming is chapter 7, verse 14. The virgin will conceive and bear a son and call his name Emmanuel. But before Emmanuel is 12 years old, these two nations that you're so terrified of are going to be gone. A child. Why use the word virgin? <clears throat> Interestingly, the word has multiple meanings. And so some translations will say young woman. I think Isaiah chose an ambiguous term because in the immediate context, the virginity of the mother is not the issue. The question is, a child who is conceived today, whose name is God with us, before he's 12, the two nations are gone. But is that God with us? No. Can God really be with us? Can God really come into our lives and our presence? Yes. And that's where the virgin becomes important. A virgin will conceive and bear a son, and his name will be God with us. Now that plays on through chapter 7 and 8, and then we come to chapter 9. The people have plunged themselves into darkness because of their refusal to believe the word of God. And God says, where there was darkness, I will bring light in Galilee of the Gentiles, the very place where the Assyrian destruction started, that'll be the place where God will bring his light into the world. Jesus' ministry was largely in Galilee of the Gentiles. And so he says, unto us a child is born. What will be this light, this light that's gonna come? A baby? Uh-huh, a baby. Now, once again, if you cannot believe in predictive prophecy, then this will have to be Ahaz's son, Hezekiah. Hezekiah was a good man, but is he the light that is going to dispel the darkness that sweeps across the northern kingdom? No, I don't think so. In the light of the total context, God using children as his answer to the oppression that is threatening them. Children, yes, God's answer to the world's darkness is a baby, and it's not Hezekiah. Later on in the book, chapters 38 and 39 will tell us that Hezekiah is mortal and Hezekiah is fallible. He's not our hope. Unto us a child is born. That's a prediction of Jesus Christ. 